Hello everyone, my name is Raging Raptor and I welcome you to a new explained video and today we are going over all the things Act 4 has to offer. And I know there was another thing about communication, but be aware, as you may or may not have seen on World of Tanks Clue already or VK, the Russian news leak portal, apparently tomorrow the 1.10 common test should come and it's stacked to the brim. Probably the biggest update ever, but again, this is problem of tomorrow Raptor. Now let's look at what present Raptor has for you to look at. Now we are going to talk about the new um, timeless brawl thingy, the new offers we are having, the active phase missions and some tips and tricks for them, and obviously the cooldown phase. Now, this is important. The active phase of this new um, act, act four, will just contain three days. It starts on Friday and goes all the way to Monday morning. But again, because Wargaming's timing scheme is a little bit weird, it starts at Friday, Saturday and Sunday and that's it. You will only be able to play till Sunday 24 UTC. This means you have to go pretty quickly if you want to get all the juicy rewards. Not only do you get a medal, you get two different 2D styles, 50 anniversary coins, some emblems and inscriptions as well as some decals, which are all fairly cool and nifty. What do you have to do, however, to get them? Well, you have to grind those timeless tokens. You get one if you're top 5 XP in your team, doesn't matter if you're winning or not, and you will get another one if you win the battle and are top 5 in your team, then you get another one. So in total you can get up to two tokens per game, which is pretty generous from Wargaming when we are looking what you have to do in the um, for the, what's it called? Uh, for the rewards. There we go, just have to skip forward and I finally can see it myself. Now, also, very important, as you probably know, Brawl, or the Brawl mode in general, is a 7 versus 7 tier 10 only game mode in an encounter game or battle in five different maps. We already discussed it another time, and if there are any questions, just let me know in the comment section below. Now, if you get two timeless tokens, you get the emblems and 10 coins. If you get five timeless tokens, you get the medal, another emblem, you get Steel Hunter projection decals and another 10 coins. Now we go up to 10 tokens, then you get some projection decals being the little dog tags, another 10 coins. For 20, you get Zakura Shower. And for 30 tokens, you get the two uh, 2D styles being the main reward of the whole brawl thing. And again, this just means possess 30 timeless tokens. It doesn't mean that you have to get like two, then five, then 10, then 20, then 30, but you just have to get 30 in general and you should be finished with that. Again, this is what I am extrapolating out of the article, which is fine. Again, imagine if you are super duper ultra lucky and you're an insane good player with an insane good um, team and you're probably just spamming 279s, you can be over in 15 rounds even if you get, again, super lucky, win every game and be top 5 XP. That is very, very quick. That is very, very quick. And we are not finished just yet because there are other smaller missions you can do once a day. If you play five games where you are top of the player, you get an additional iron seal token, which you will need for this one right here. And you get 150,000 credits and 25 bonds. And if you do this another time or again and be top three, three times in XP, you get another 250,000 credits, 50 bonds and one combat experience booster. So yeah, if you play on third day one, you will be over with this pretty quickly, I guess. And it will be probably fun who knows and well, we just look at this and you get another additional small reward of around 400,000 credits a, a combat experience booster and 75 bonds however i do want to point out i am a little bit sad that it is again brawl like it's not really anything you know they, they could have found something else for this you know they could have maybe even do another race mode instead of jeffy and stuff just put, I don't know, EBRs only, because let's be honest, we do have the Great Race emblem in it, and it means that we were talking about the Great Race, so why not make another Great Race with just EBRs, because they are uh, the tanks which always are called the go-karts or the Ferraris around, if you're looking at skill for LTU. Now, for the people which do not have a tier 10 vehicle, I would say do not play it. 
because even if you're getting the Object 140 and the 5A as a rental vehicle, you will most likely lose a ton of money in this mode and you will not really have any fun as you're not used to playing tier 10 game modes. But that's just my personal opinion. You have to dis or you have to decide for yourself. So keep that in mind. I personally would not suggest to it. You don't really get that much of a reward from it. However, the new offers, obviously, stun because screw arty and if you are getting three new styles we get another sense of direction which i sadly do not know how it looks like and that was my personal whatsapp because i am stupid i am sorry for that just quickly close anything because i am doing this in the middle between clan wars right now sorry for that one the new offers will be a defender oh not again but yeah he will have a known unique style i don't know really what it is supposed to be then the scorpion not the scorpion just the scorpion and it will get its own unique camouflage which actually looks very cool in my opinion because it has still the gray in it so that's a nice kudos thingy and lastly we get the surströming um Stritzwagen tank and I probably butchered both Swedish names and I know this is Uferhund but yeah let's just go over to Dan Danske Bank or something like that I don't know <laughs> it looks funny and we all know Zurströming Sur is like really really ugly um I guess really really ugly fish in a, in a container which is like very old I think or fermented I'm not sure that's just what I know yeah in the active phase, again, this is just takes three days. Keep in mind, the active phase literally just takes Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So the first part is destroy three, then seven, and then ten vehicles. Or I I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure if they, they should. These ones are continuously. So you have to in total kill twenty tanks. That shouldn't be too hard. Sadly, you can even do it in the brawl. So that is totally fine. That is very good. Never mind. It's very good. My bad. Then you have to do 1,500, 2,500, and 3,000 spot damage. And again, we are in the um, in, an, um, in a thingy. But um, yeah, sorry for that. That's just how it is with Clan Wars. So that should be pretty easy to get. Again, you can do it in Weekend Brawl. Lastly, we have the third active missions. And here you have to do cost damage or equal to exceeding your hit points one times and three times and then five times. So basically, this is either a mission where you have to perform well and be actually good at the game <laughs> or just play artillery. Like this mission is literally an artillery mission. It's super easy and you should just totally be able to do that without any issue. Now, we also have a cooldown week. Actually, we have five cooldown weeks, apparently, before we go to the grand finale with the Act 5. Now, in the first one, we have, during the week, 650 damage during one game, and you get 15 coins per day once. And at the weekend, you have to do damage to at least 25 tanks over any number of games once. And you can do this twice because it's a weekend, and you can get up to 20 of those point coins which is pretty decent. Then next up, we have be among the top 10 players in your XP earn, super easy. And during the weekend, you have to do a total of 20,000 damage. For players which are playing tier nine, tier eight or tier 10 tanks, it shouldn't be taking too long either. For the third week, you have to damage at least one enemy vehicle during the weekdays. And at the weekend, you have to play at least 10 games where you have to be among top seven in damage cost. Now that is a little bit harder than the other ones in my personal opinion. In week number four, we have destroyed at least one enemy vehicle yet again in a battle. And once again, play 10 battles on the weekend where you are top seven in your team by base EXP. And lastly, we have one more week, which is just two days. And well, here we have to be top five, 10 players in damage dealt and once a day and get 15 coins, which is actually what we always had. Now, why are you doing this, obviously? Well, it is to get the coins, it is to get some more camouflages for free, and we still don't know if in Act 5 there will be more. Again, right now, you can save your coins as long as you want. That's literally what I'm personally doing as well. You can see I have 790 coins, easy going, easy life. I'm not going to spend them just yet because maybe there will be something new. Who knows? Maybe there will be something very, very exciting. Or maybe I'm just going to buy one of each um, in this store. Who knows? Really? 
720 coins, that's already quite a ton of coins we can use and just see what the anniversary store has going for us. In the end, I do think it is an okay event, a little bit stressed, I would say, at the weekend. However, the weekend missions or the active phase missions are fairly simple. They're not too hard and, most importantly, you can do them in the weekend brawl. So you can kill two birds with one stone, even though killing birds is a very, very poor thing to do because birds are rather cute, you know. But yeah, that's everything I'm having for you today. Obviously, you can leave some feedback. I do want to point out that Obviously, today's video was a little bit weird because, yeah, I know Climb was, was in between and that was bad. That was really, really bad. But what can we do? What can we do? Shit happens. It happens. We will see how it goes. Again, I'm sorry for that one. It is a stupid time right now. And yeah. Anyway, if you have anything else to say, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I will always try to be up to date for you. Keep your eyes peeled for tomorrow because, again, tomorrow most likely the biggest update in World of Tanks history is going to hit l test servers. And we will be able to test anything. And, oh my god, I'm not looking forward to this because I'm going to do a little bit of a detour uh, to Germany next week um, to meet some friends. My name is Raging Rapper. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Have a great time and good luck on the battlefield. Cheers.